Let's pay Harry another visit and get to the bottom of all this. I have to admit, I do like spending a bit of time investigating alone. I'm getting a bit sick of being told that I'm either too slow or too fast. You agree with me, right, Zack? Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Looks like the next game is hide and seek. Huh? These girls, Zack. Do you see the resemblance? Anna, Becky, she looks like Diane, and Carol. Zack, look. Emily.
Emily! At times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Stop! Thank you. 
Zack. Looks like we're out of the countryside and back in civilization. documents. Just what is going on in here? I warned you about haste. Take it slow. You'll lose sight of what's important if you just rush past it. As an agent of the FBI, I'm sure you know. So many people have got it all wrong. They think speed is the key. That being first is the best. certainly talkative today, Harry. But I didn't come here for a business lecture. Tell me everything you know. Speed is not important. Timing is what is important. Timing. York, you have a natural gift for waiting for the correct timing. Just be careful that your haste does not ruin everything. That will be vital to solving the current case at hand. York, I know more than you think, but less than what you hope. One, you have Nick in custody. Two, Thomas is missing. Three, Carol has a locket that belongs to the murderer. I also know that this case revolves around the Red Seeds, <laughs> but that's about it. So you've got an inside line on police information. That reminds me. The victims' tongues were cut out, weren't they? But that's only a minor point. Don't let the shocks blind you to what's more important. That's another business tip. Harry, I'm impressed. You gather information really well. You hacked into the FBI network, too. Amazing. But I didn't come here to hear this. Then let us close the business seminar. It's time for a history lesson instead. Oh, sir. 
<laughs> the device was emitting purple smoke outside. <laughs> Just then, for the first time, the bell rang throughout the town. I reacted with fear. Left the tower as fast as I could. story. connection between the red seeds and the gas then. George. 
much soon they have found Thomas. I'll tell you one last and very important thing. Just as you suspected, everything I have told you is gibberish. I never hacked into the FBI server, and I certainly know nothing about the Red Seeds. I shall thank you for listening to an old man, Babylon. Let me ask you one thing then, Harry. You're a businessman. You must be after something in return for giving me this information. York, at times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. But that still does not justify murder. Remember this. Everything changes in form. There isn't a single thing that can maintain 